Alright, welcome back. Today we're reacting to some of the worst advice on TikTok apparently. Hey man, Patreon, top link in the description. We appreciate these here patrons right here, man, showing us love. We got some extra content on there for those interested. Let's get into this video. You must adapt the mindset that every girl is a hoe. It's gonna help you sleep better at night, you know, when you get older. You know, a lot of y'all youngins be like, oh, I need a good girl and sh <laughs> You better get you a girl at the church. And even the girl at the church ain't a good girl. Trust me and believe me. <laughs> I, I, I realize that when men say this, they're just projecting at that point. <laughs> like, it's not every every woman out in the world isn't like that, dog. You're just projecting. You're just walking around with guilt, nigga. That's what you're doing right now. Why do people that have no capacity to give advice on the internet? I so don't know. I, have no, I don't know why you feel that bold. <laughs> Like if you like if you can't cook, I don't feel emboldened just walk up in the kitchen like, nah, I got this dog. Don't even worry about it. Put the hat on and start chefing. I don't know how to do that. Like, if you ask me about nutrition, I'd just be like, I don't know, man. But then ask me about YouTube videos. How I give you some advice in the areas that I know. Ask me about makeup channels. I don't know. That's not me. Why is everybody gotta know? People just on the internet giving advice. They made a whole app for giving advice. They called it Clubhouse. People just get on there and give advice, bro. And they cap. They, they cap, and man. They, cap. they give wrong advice, but some of y'all following wrong advice. We'll see, man. You'll never know a girl's body count unless you know her personally, your peers know her, or she's from town. And this okay. is why when you get older, body count sort of leaves the equation, right? Let's say you meet a girl from out of town, right? At a bar, you're 27, she's 27, and y'all both single. Let's assume she started having sex at 17 and caught two bodies a year minimum on the low side. <laughs> she's no, bro. We're not doing math, dog. We're not. Yo, this is unnecessary, bro. He's like, here's Are you a, breaking it down? Here's, here's a body count equation for you. Here's, that, an, here's an analytics, here's an algorithm for you. <laughs> look, look, buddy. Okay, tell me. Look, man. she started at 17. Yeah. All, all, every person around the world started at 17, all right? Yeah. So you know she started at 17. Let's just say, let's lowball it. Let's lowball it for a second. Two a year. Uh huh. We lowballing that. Just two. Lowball it two a year. She's 27 years old right now. Now what you want to do is 27. That's 10 right there. Yeah. So that's already 20 bodies right oh there. Oh my god. But now you know it's cap. Yeah. So no matter what she says, multiply by four. <laughs> that's the body count, dog. 27 and y'all both single. Let's assume she started having sex at 17 and caught two bodies a year minimum on the low side. <laughs> King, she's 27 with 20 bodies minimum. 20 bodies. And that's not even including college. Let's say she went to college. What? King, her freshman year. Excuse me, sir. She started at 17, <laughs> then it's including college. Why would you start at 17 and not include college? No, but she's saying, like, those, those are just girls who skip college. But if you go to college, <laughs> she bugged out, dog. So now you got, I forgot about that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the college part. So How do you account for, like, the people that dropped out after the first year, though? Man, you gotta, you can't do all that. Or, like, online school. You gotta use the um, parentheses. You gotta put it in parentheses. Oh, bed mass. And then do an exponent. Yeah. And then divide that by pi. So yeah. You missed that part of it. I didn't watch that class. And yeah. then and then I always just make sure it's below your body count because you know you're alpha dogs. So yeah. You gotta make sure. Yeah. You alpha dog dog. So make sure whatever outrageous number you get to, you can always out beat her in that number. Yeah, you have to. You your have body to. count has to be higher, dog. Oh, has to be. Oh my, my bad. He says king. Kings. 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 10 to 15 bodies minimum. Athletes and many one night stands. Now you could assume she got 35 to 40 bodies <laughs> based off of basic numerology. Just assume she's a hoe and you're good to go. Like and follow for more content. Hey. <laughs> like and follow for more content. Guys, I figured it out. I know everybody, the whole, everybody in the world has been trying to figure out this one question, Marcel. And boom, I've cracked the code. You have to like and follow, yes. man. How Kings. could you not? Kings. Like and follow. She's, Kings. she's a hoe. She's a hoe. I mean, I said all of this to tell I'm you. I'm so she's confused. A hoe. So. Why why date her? I'm kinda confused. Ideally you should just never date. Like what's up I'm I'm so what what advice is this? this what if you ended it like that's why you guys should date men? <laughs> Texting game is killing her attraction for you, right? Facts. You don't text a girl 24-7, bro. You gotta leave a fucking mystery, bro. Facts. Get her thinking about you during the day, like, damn, he he's not texting me. What the fuck is he doing? No cap. Bro, when you oh, chase, they replace. Oh, when oh, you ignore oh, it. There's no way he he's doing his ad libs. Yeah, bro. There's no way this nigga's like this nigga's sitting there like no gap. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> That's gonna kill it. Let me, let me slide it at a 15 minute mark. Real talk, king. <laughs> Inches pours. Oh, God. Now, I'm gonna prove my point with these three messages, right? When you chase, they replace. When you ignore the interest pours. Thank me later. You're funny. I mean, hey, we both have standards. I'm relaxed. So you got my number. You can use it or... Niggas be busy, my fault, for real, for real. I understand, I'll be busy too. 
Am I dumb or is that dumb? One of the one of us is dumb no, right he now. He just saying he said you're funny. I mean, I, this is the girl saying you're funny. I mean, hey, we both have standards. I'm relaxed. Like I'm she chill. She not really, uh, you know. Oh, I get it now. It. I get it. You said so you got Why, my number. Though? So you're gonna use it or not? But this, you, I mean, you wasn't this, busy. You wasn't busy enough to dislike and reply. Yeah. Now, but hold on, let's 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 think about this for a second. <laughs> this nigga is so like. He's like literally like watching these these messages fly by. He's like, yeah. I'm about to screenshot this. I'm about to screenshot it. Got my fingers and on the number. And then not reply to it. Because I know that's what you're going to want. Oh, God. Now, I'm going to prove my point with these three messages, go. right? When you chase, they replace. When you ignore, the interest pours. When you chase, they later. replace. When, when you, you ignore, the, the interest pours. Yeah, man. She know about women low. What you know about that, dog? Hey, man. I learned from the best. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This advice is pretty horrendous so far. Guys, just be yourselves. It's not fucking hard. If you want only someone... a minute into this. Is, that... <laughs> is, it, yo, is it that hard to be yourself? Just be yourself, man. God yeah. damn. If she don't like you for you, why are you wasting your time? Hey, you chase the replace. And when, when, you, when you ignore the, the interest, the interest, the interest pours. pours. The, That's interest, a, yo, the interest just can pours. Can we frame that? It just, Jesus. it just pours right in, dog. It just, it just pours that interest. They go that interest. Get all that interest out of here. God damn. You a demon, y'all. Uh, be at my crib at 3 a.m. Why not? Just waiting until the morning. Alrighty. I'm just going to delete your number. I'm not trying to have my time wasted. Jesus. It's not working? Oh, love that feeling, lol. Adulting is... Yo, bro, you just got a girl with bad self-esteem. <laughs> like, I know. Like, like, I guess. But you really could have done anything and got her to fuck, so... Bro, now I'm not ignoring these girls for a fucking ego boost, bro. I'm fucking busy, bro. And I used to be the simp texting the girls 24-7, right? And they will all lose interest, bro. I talk from experience, bro. This is female nature, bro. You can't change this shit. They're hardwired to like a dude who selfish with his time, bro. When you're texting her all day, bro, all you're saying is I'm a low-value man and I don't do shit in my life. And you're the main circle of my life, bro. Like, you make me happy. Bro, get in your fucking bag. Fellas, I can't stress this enough. When you're dealing with a woman, you cannot show her your emotional side unless your mother or father died. That's the only exception. Women are not- Niggas, I, I, I say this, it's just, it's such the, it's the most toxic, mas masculinely toxic shot I've ever heard in my life. You can't even smile around her, dog. Nigga, what you smiling for? <laughs> you know, not funny, you ain't joking. You only joke with the fellas, nigga. Let me see your pearly whites, not her. You don't need to be smiling. You don't need to be mad. You don't need to be upset. You don't need to be glad. You don't need to be mad at that. You need to be just stale face every day in your life next time. You wake up, you, you roll over, stale face. You get out of the shower, stale face. You hop in the whip, stale face. I bet not see you. I bet not see you smile, nigga. I'm really not. Not hardwired to deal with a man's emotion. And they're going to tell you, oh, babe, it's all right to cry or fuck. Listen. Ain't none of that bullshit. Don't fall for that shit, dog. As soon as you start doing this shit, she's gonna see you as a weak male. Look, it's a variety of things, right? When you think she's cheating, do not bring it up to her. If you think she's talking to another motherfucker, do not bring it up to her. If you wanna cry because something happened at work and shit, do not complain to her, bro. Go talk to one of your fucking bros. Talk a woman is bro. not meant to deal with a man's emotions. They're the emotional creatures, bro. They react off her emotions. Matter of fact, I'm gonna prove my point. Think about it. You ever fucked the girl in your mom's house and she was getting too loud and you're like, yo, be quiet. What does she do? Get louder. They react off emotions. Or another situation. When a girl is mad at her baby father, what does she do? Keep the kid away from him because she's in her emotions. All I'm saying is they say opposites attract, right? So a female has to be her feminine frame and you as a man has to be in your masculine frame. That's the only way to keep the attraction there. Thank Wait, me later, it, man. What they, what they actually say is that you attract who you are. That's what they, that's what it actually says. Yes, there may be some some compatibility there when there are some some opposites, but more or less you attract who you are. Hold on. So if you run around being toxic, then those are the women that you're going to attract. You want to attract toxic women. So you like guys? Mm hmm. That's what this nigga sound like. Dog, don't don't do that. Come come to me. You know dog. some women are Cry like on that. My shoulder. Some women are like Cry that. Cry on my shoulder, nigga. I know it's a hard day. I know what's wrong. Hey, don't stroke me. Yo, ho, ho. Don't stroke me. You can't, because you can't get this type of loving from your girl. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas is weird, bro. Just say you want a nigga to hug on, bro. That's all you got to say. Man, listen up. Females are attracted to the masculine dudes in life, right? I got the one simple trick to help you build your masculine energy besides just hanging out with other masculine men. And no dating coach ever said this. Ever. You could Google it, YouTube it. You won't find it. It's all authentic. Go out to eat and ask what's your name for the receipt order. You're gonna tell them your name is John Cena. Just like this, how I'm looking at you. They're gonna expect you to laugh, right, on the outside, but you wanna laugh on the inside and maintain mass and frame on the outside and be serious. 
Simple. You can laugh here and there, right? I'm not saying be a fucking robot, but nobody respects the dude that's goofing around 24 7, even females. That's signs of weakness. Think about it. Who's respecting life? The dude that's serious and about business, right? Come on, man. This simple technique is going to help you check your emotions. You know, when you want to question your girl, oh, are you cheating on me? Are you seeing other guys? You got to learn how to check them emotions. And this is going to help with that. These are three smooth things. There's no way he just on. sat there and said, my advice that I never heard on the internet is to go to a restaurant and say, my name is John Cena. He's finding bad ways to give good advice. That's what he's doing right now. Because he's saying things I've said or heard before. Like, you should be doing things to kind of build up your bravery and courage. Like, doing something dumb in public. Like I wear my bond around or... Like, I do dumb stuff frequently so that I never care about people's opinion. And if you're associating that with masculinity, then maybe it is beneficial to be more masculine. It's just confidence, though. Yeah, but he's doing it in a dumb way. Yes. Like, these are... Like, I've said these things, but I, I'm not... I didn't say go to John Cena. Remember I told you I watched a TED Talk where the guy said, just lay down on in like a, a, tr a subway station not on the tracks but yeah. like on the floor yeah and you'll quickly realize people don't give a fuck about what you're doing so why do you care so you have people in your mind so much forget about it yeah. but also that was not secret sauce that no one's ever heard before buddy secret sauce <laughs> unknown i must start all i must start every sentence i have like yeah i'm about to give you out a secret sauce to this one <laughs> any cashier that look good bro and if you're a good looking dude who ain't nervous to talk to girls it's gonna secure you the deal or at least get your foot in the door with her Coin Mr. Odd T, because I have a day to clear the beta. Right, so one, this one works all the time. It's a 10 out of 10, pick them up. So when she's done bringing your shit up, right, she's going to look like a bag. You're going to look at you like a bag. You disrespecting me? I am the bag. What you talking about? I'm telling you, son. Thank me later. Right, so when she's done bringing your shit up, she's going to tell you how much the shit costs, right? She's going to be like, sir, your total is $134.54. You're going to be like, oh, that must be the last five digits of your phone number, right? I'm telling you, son. This is a 9 out of 10, son. <laughs> so now, let's say you're in Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts or you're in your local donut shop, right? This one works. This is a 6 or 7 out of 10. If you're ugly, she might get creeped out, you feel me? So be careful using this one. So, boom. So, I'm like, sir, what donut would you like? I used to say a Boston cream, right? So, I'm like, I hear it. Here you go, sir. I'm like, what flavor donut you like? Well, I like apple fritter. And if you're black, you're like, yo, you need some chocolate in your life. And if you're white, you're like, baby, you need some vanilla in your life, you feel me? But use this one carefully. This thing, the fellas, you gotta actually know how to talk to girls without pick lines. You know what I'm saying? This shit works. There you go. With this shit. You know how to oh my, he was girls, scaring you know me for saying? a moment. But you're not used to talking to girls. Do not even use this shit. Cause you're okay. gonna fuck up, trip over your hey, words. Hey, you kind of saved yourself stupid. there. Right. For a while, I thought you was gonna do it. Ah, but the disclaimer at the end saved it. Creepy niggas <laughs> running around <laughs> saying some wild stuff. Hey, hey. I still say no to that. Yeah, I, I, I think I telling a, a cashier. Like, yo, don't disrespect me. I am the bag. Like, like really? If someone ever said that to me, I'd be like, you cornball ass broke motherfucker. Yeah, like, nigga, <laughs> fucking Walmart nigga. It's $45. <laughs> That's your total. Do you just want your receipt or not? Yeah, just swipe the card and move on, nigga. These are two major steps to get a girl attached to you and thinking about you 24-7. She could be in the club with her friends and she gonna be thinking about you. One, a major part of the game, dog, is remaining mysterious, bruh. If you texting her 24-7 and seeing her seven times out the week, bruh, there's no fucking mystery. She'll never get to thinking about you, bruh, because she know what the fuck you're doing 24-7. And a lot of you betas need attention like a little bitch. Why are you texting her 24-7? Two, you gotta treat these girls like a stock market. You know when you're a beginner investor, you throw money in a stock and it goes down, you panicking and shit, you gotta do the same thing with her feelings, bruh. Show interest, pull back. Show interest, pull back. The most valuable thing in life is time, bruh. When a female give you her time, bruh, she want to return her investment. So once you start pulling back, bruh, she's going to chase you because she's in the red and she want to be in the green. Bonus key, bruh. If you got female friends or female acquaintances, bruh, go out with them and post it. Females love a guy that girls love to be around. See? They're going to compete he, for that spot. I Believe me. Like, part of me was still like... <sighs> <coughs> No, this is not safe. DM me to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation <laughs> via Zoom, FaceTime to solve any dating relationship issues. Nigga, you're not a fucking relationship coach, nigga. <laughs> you're not one. You're not You're not a relationship coach. It's not a thing that you oh said that any advice with relationships. Yeah. You're not a relationship. <laughs> nothing. There's no, nothing about relationships. Possibly dating. But nothing relationship. But again, the things I agree with he's saying. I, a lot of things he's saying, I understand where he's coming from. Like you said, it's just the way he presents it is just horrible. That's and such that's a not, dangerous way to live. It man. is, but it's if not. If I did that in business, it, like people would lose their minds. They would call it unethical. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that crazy? Yes. Isn't if I did that in business, I would be known as like a a monster who doesn't care about other people at all. But th that's the that's, that's the crazy part. That in no one would dare 
openly speak about this is my this is my business strategy right here, dog. This is my business. I come in, I just cut the books up real quick. I take my money out. I just leave for ruins, dog. <laughs> Another ruined business as I walk away. I got my money. No one ever, no one ever say that. No one ever say I did some crazy stuff just to make as much money as I can. Oh, and I just left it. First thing first, men don't fucking text women all the time. We're too busy for that shit. If you got all day to text a woman, then you're a fucking multi-billionaire or you're not busy or productive enough. Now, let's say you set a date today with a girl for Friday and today's Monday. You only text her Thursday just to confirm the date, the time, and location. Other than that, no communication. Yo, hypebeast, why can't I talk to her the days before leading up to a date? What the fuck? You're being weird. Listen up. I say this because women fall in love with mystery. You don't want to come off as needy or you might say some creep shit that will turn off before the date and that shit don't fucking stun you or reschedule. Hey, what is um, but here's my problem with this, Marcel. Is what... that like, you shouldn't as a person be needy by default. Like, we should teach you how to not be needy beyond just like artificially just don't text her. Like, yeah. why do you feel needy? Like, that's a problem within you. Yeah. If you just figure that out, you actually wouldn't need that advice and that will benefit you in more ways than this one way will. What's going on, yeah. man? Why don't you attack the core of your issues Work on yourself. I'm trying to get healthier. I'm trying to develop my confidence. I'm having tough conversations left and right with people. You should be working on yourself. Yeah. And that will actually elevate you. So now you're, if you try and get to a higher caliber of woman, when you work on yourself, boom, you're there. But you just like, you feel needy, but don't text her like it's some kind of drug. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you investigate what's wrong with you? Because following this advice is not going to do that for you. And if you got a consultation and he told you this empty advice, and that's tough. Cause you just heard for free that you need to attack the core of the issue or else it'll keep growing and manifesting in many different ways. And what's even worse is that when you finally get in a relationship with someone you actually want to be in a relationship with, because you spent all this time not addressing that real problems, now we're in a real relationship. Now that right there is completely ruined. Are you messing that up because you never actually addressed the real problems? Hey, hopefully y'all learned something in this video, man. If y'all yes, missed... Sir. Yeah, don't interrupt me, bro. Okay. I'm doing an outro. Okay. I was going to tell him. I was going to say, click on this video. King. But I can't do that now because you interrupted me. Okay. You call me King? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 thanks, okay. man. Okay.